A body has been found burned beyond recognition in a fire pit. Sheldon Stewart lies in a hospital bed recovering from multiple knife wounds he says were inflicted by his best friend, Trevor Holminski, while they were camping. At first, detectives fear Trevor may be on a murderous rampage at Bucks Lake, a popular campsite in Northern California. For all anyone knew, Trevor was still running around the woods. But when detectives receive autopsy results for the charred body, it's a shocker. It's Trevor Holminski. Trevor had actually been stabbed in his back and chest before being incinerated in a campfire pit. What ultimately was the cause of death? It could have been either of the stab wounds, either the one to the front or the one to the back. And now Sheldon goes from victim to main person of interest in Trevor's murder. You knew that something was up with a friend. Yes, he was basically our, our number one suspect. Investigators are already suspicious of Sheldon's story that Trevor attacked him after he rejected his sexual advances when they got high on LSD and pot. And now they believe Sheldon's own knife wounds are self-inflicted. What was odd from the beginning in looking at the wounds is that most of them were superficial the cuts also appear to be too uniform to match Sheldon's claims they were suffered while he and Trevor wrestled for a knife. Something that you wouldn't expect to see if there was a fluid, violent uh, fight where both parties are moving around a lot. You're saying all the wounds were in the same exact spot? Right in the same spot. Detectives hit Sheldon hard. Did you stab yourself in the neck? No. Then there are the slash marks on Sheldon's wrists, which he admits were indeed self-inflicted. Why did you cut your wrists, though, when you woke up? Because my leg was bleeding. I thought that I was going to die out there, and I was really sad that my best friend just left me there to die. I just started bleeding the neck. I was screaming, and nobody came to help me. I just wanted to die out there. I knew that was going to make it out of there. But investigators think there's another reason Sheldon might have wanted to commit suicide. Once it became apparent to Sheldon that he had killed his friend and he was reaching for what story might work, and I think he went back and forth between, I'm going to try and get away with murder versus I'm going to try and kill myself. They also don't believe Sheldon's claim that Trevor had attacked him. Based on the evidence, it was clear to us that the only person that used a weapon was Sheldon. He stabbed himself in the neck. He cut his own wrists. He also stabbed his friend. Each step of the investigation uh, led us to a conclusion that while Sheldon may have come across as a very nice young man, uh, on that evening, he was nothing short of evil. But Sheldon denies murdering Trevor when detectives turn up the heat. What if I told you that you were the one that was attacking him with a knife. That's a lie. I didn't attack him first with a knife. Sheldon also denies he burned his friend's body. Did you start that fire? No. I didn't start the fire. They suggest Sheldon may have killed his friend in a moment of homophobic fury when Trevor allegedly hit on him. Maybe you were upset at him for trying to advance on you sexually, and you got upset at him and stabbed him. That's not what happened. But investigators believe they now have all the physical evidence they need to support their allegations after finding Trevor's wallet and ID at the crime scene, as well as the knife used to kill him. We returned to the scene with the detectives and some metal detectors and other equipment, and were able to find the location where uh, Sheldon had buried not only the murder weapon, but some other items of evidence. And confronted with the overwhelming case against him, Sheldon finally admits that he did indeed kill his best friend, but he says only in self-defense and only when Trevor had pleaded with him to do it as he lay bleeding to death. He asked me to put him out of his misery, and I did. What did you do? Uh, I don't know. I had a knife, and I just started swinging. So he asked you to put him out of his misery? Yeah. And what did you do to do that? You were being compassionate at that point? Is that what was going on? Uh, yes. Where did you stab him? I don't know. I closed my eyes and I just started swinging. And so I stopped hearing him move. Before building a bonfire and throwing Trevor's body on it. Why did you burn him? 
try to cover evidence? No, I don't want to the person in life. I don't want to do it. Yes, I saw it as a fire. I was sitting next to him, contemplating what just happened, what I did. And I saw it as a fire. Could Trevor's death have been in self-defense? No, uh, not from the evidence that, that we saw. Um, there was no other stab wounds that, that Sheldon had on him other than the ones that it was pretty clear he inflicted himself. He basically killed him out of mercy? Yes, that was the, the end story and the one the defense took in the trial. But it fails to convince the jury, Sheldon Stewart being found guilty of murder one and sentenced to 26 years to life, which is of little consolation to Trevor's still grieving family. He didn't get to attend my wedding. Um, he won't be there for the rest of our lives. The world is not going to be the same with that. It gets easier as time goes on. Not that I miss him less or think of him less. Maybe you're just used to the gaping hole in your heart. And exactly what happened between best friends Sheldon and Trevor at Bucks Lake that night may forever remain a mystery. Do you have any idea what Sheldon's true motive was? I don't. I, I think what caused Sheldon to do this is something that was known only by two people. Uh, and Trevor took that to his grave. Uh, Sheldon, I, I just don't think, is in a position now or at trial where he could tell us what really happened. To keep the spirit of their son alive, Trevor's parents have decided to spread a little bit of his ashes everywhere they travel in the world, from Australia to Barbados, as well as Germany and even some at his sister's wedding location. As for Sheldon Stewart, his attorneys have said they will appeal his conviction. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.